fed her like six bees before I found out she had a bee allergy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to episode number nine. No, ten. ten. No, it's not. Yep. Oh man, Check I it. need it. Have a look. Week. Are you fucking? Are you fucking fucking cunt? Yep. Oh, new chair for Brown. We always do this. <laughs> we always do news. Episode nine. And yeah, this is episode number ten. Yeah, new chair for Man, me. Holy new chair for me. shit! We forgot about Brown's chair, but we're twenty five percent done. No, I reckon I'm really enjoying this. Plus, remember, oh. we didn't get this chair for him until like episode five or six. Four. Remember, yeah, we had the other chair for ten. We had the other chair first. Five or ten every ten. With, we changed. Yeah, every ten, and we had the other chair that broke. <laughs> Yeah. So, so technically, he should be in this chair until, until episode 20. twenty. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he stands. He stands. He's standing. <laughs> we got a jam-packed episode, everyone. We got the. We got a. Um, you know that fucking guy that helped me through my heart shit. He's coming on. He's going to talk to us and tell you guys what he told me. So if you have heart issues or anxiety issues, stick around. It's a bit more of a serious part. But the rest of the podcast is so silly and funny. We've got horoscope. Who's a better Brown? Matt versus Michael. Matt's Tinder adventures, of course, oh. which which has taken some funny, funny turns. There's is, some this funny is stories. Better than the first week. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say better, but it's it's there's some longer conversations. I, I don't know. It's hard to tell now. I'm excited. I'm so excited for that. And um, I've got something to say about that. And of course, prank call at the end of the uh, fucking episode. Can't yeah, baby. Let's <laughs> fucking get into this shit, bro. Let's do some shit talk, man. What's been going on? We're back at work. Last week was full week back at work and feeling better. The anxiety's finally slipping out of my fucking skull. Low blood pressure readings? Blood pressure's going. I'm off the blood pressure medication and I did a reading this morning. It was like 136 over 85. So that's not so bad. That's not so bad. I did like 14 readings and that was the average. And I'm not even on blood pressure medication. I feel like because I know it's anxiety and stress, that that alone is lowering my anxiety and stress. Yeah. Does that make sense? You've identified the cause. Plus, I've quit dairy, which, so I don't have the fucking shit after I eat anymore. Oh, really? That's all gone. Well, it's not completely gone, but it's definitely much, much less. So I'm I'm starting to think that that definitely played a role as well. But it's not even confirmed it's a dairy allergy. It was a weird naturopath test. I need to go and get like a proper blood test and stuff to confirm it. But I am feeling much better. I exercised like eight times last week and went hard. Huh? Eight. Eight times, yeah. So fucking shit's on the up, guys. Shit's on the up. Fucking content's going to be better. We're fucking filming all this week. We've got some banger vids coming out. What's come out right now? What's out on the website? What are we going to post? I don't even know. Oh, shit. We don't know right now, currently. Yeah, we haven't decided yet. Something awesome, I bet, though, bro. Yeah, God. I wonder what people thought of the arse wine. Yeah, arse wine was pretty fucked. And last week we filmed... Um, a, a sequel to the Solving World Hunger video. We swallowed whole popcorn kernels. Yeah. And then shat them out and then popped the popcorn. I sent you a message of what people thought of the one guy sent. Yeah, there was some hate. There was a lot of people. Yeah. But the, oh, you get yeah. that. You get that with the um, gross videos. Some people don't like them. Pants all the way down. All the way down. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I literally put his mic directly on his asshole. <laughs> Smell it. <laughs> oh, it's actually sort of nice. I That's knew fun. you'd enjoy that. Did you see me do that, man? Yeah. I yeah, put, I felt it go in. I put his mic on his asshole. Oh, and oh. I feel good about that. Oh, thank oh. you. <clears throat> thank you, mate. <sighs> that was upsetting. It's like a treat. We, um, all, we all look very strange, don't we? What was I going to say? Okay, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, obviously the people... There's certain people that hate the disgusting vids. Sorry. Look, that's what you Yeah, get. it divides the audience. But we do them every now and then because it saves us from pain. And it's fucking cool, I yeah. think. Yeah, and it is interesting sometimes. I did a CT scan last Monday. 
oh man, they're weird. What do they do? It, they, oh. they, you go, you lie in this tube and they, because it's like x-rays and shit, there's no other doctors in the room. They go and hide behind this fucking wall and leave you in there. Then they jam this needle up your fucking vein and, and sticky tape it on. And then you'll hear this voice go, all right, first injection. And then you'll hear this... <laughs> And this it liquid goes shoots up your arm, and it feels so fucking gross and weird. And it's this dye, so that they cold can cold or warm. It's warm, and then Ooh. so they can see shit better. Does it hurt? And and they do a little bit first to test if it fucks your body. So that's terrifying. Sitting there thinking, is my body going to react badly? And then oh. after a few minutes, that are they're like, all right, here comes the the second injection. This one's a little bit bigger. And then this is feel this fucking gross shit go through your body, and you just, oh man, it's disgusting, cunt. Oh, yucky. And they're yuck. taking photos, so I get the results of that back soon, and fucking blood test on the way, cunt. Fuck yeah, woo. Ooh. Matt's got a bottle of mints. Oh, don't open it. Well, let let no, nah, I'm not gonna just even say no, dude. What do you mean? We've checked many times. There's Sorry. no need for that. It didn't fizz up that. It didn't fizz as it opened that time. Oh god. Yeah, it's fucking rough. My, oh, Michael um got a um fucking he cool. f- look. Oh, you can't see because he's wearing a lion's coat. But oh, I got a fucking he got his hair cut and he fucked it up. Yeah, that's why he's wearing. And, and I'm just figured like, it out. You are you are self conscious about your hair tonight. That's why you're wearing that. No, no, I had a wig on too, but then self-conscious. James said this too. I should have, I should have just cut it. Like I don't. He never tells me when he's getting haircuts. Do you want me to tell you? When it's I like it's on? like you may as well just let me fucking butcher it instead of paying someone to butcher it. <sighs> um. Oh, I've got some stories for you boys. Hey, Go man. on then. Wait a minute. Is it golf related? No, no. Um. Okay. So, <sighs> I um, Amber came to me last night and said. I found skid marks in your auntie. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, it's been itchy." She's like, "Oh, it's regular." I was like, "Oh, that sucked." What do you mean regular? Like she always finds them. Yeah. Oh, that is no, so no, it's fucked. an issue. So. Oh no, it's all right. She was cool. She's just, I think. She oh was. man, that would be rough. I don't know what I would do if I saw. Imagine seeing skid marks in Amber's underwear. Oh, yeah. It's de- wow. It's even worse <laughs> if they're female for some reason. But um, and yeah, like, that's happened in my life. Oh, yeah. That is fucked, cunt. Something cool happened. For those of you who know Kenny versus Spenny, you know, that we- Michael and I are massive fans of them. Matt doesn't really watch anything other than I porn. Know Kenny versus so he doesn't really know who we're talking about. But we reached out to Kenny on Instagram just because we've been talking about doing a Marty vs. Michael series and it's not going to be exactly like Kenny vs. Spenny but you know there are some parts to it where you know where we it, it is a little bit influenced by that so we reached out to Kenny and he's like I was oh, and you know I was like oh would you guys ever you know want to get involved and he's like fuck yeah just send us an email so fucking emailed Kenny how mm. cool is that imagine and and you know this is a lot of people say he could have just been being polite so no one get your hopes up. This may not happen. But I just thought it was cool that fucking Kenny from Kenny vs. Spenny, like, he's talking to us. So what do you think of that, Brown? I was in high school when they were, like, banging out vids. Holy shit, They're you were. Comedy. Yeah, that was, like, maybe. 50 years ago or something. So, yeah, you would have been about high school, yeah. That's a verkleiner. Um. Yeah, well, there you have it. Look, things are going on. Things, things are going different right days on, happen, Right? Every day is different a bit, I think. It's a fuck. Oh, it's a eighty fucking eighty. What is it? Eighty five days sober today. Wow, that's almost a hundred, dude. It's been like if I didn't have this heart thing, it probably would have been a lot harder, to be honest. Oh, true. But it could, because of that, I was like, I'm not fucking touching shit. You have nothing. Like, you have nothing holding you back. Yeah, it would have been, been like much special harder. Occasions where you're like, oh, or I would have been it, more yeah. tempted. I still would. I still reckon I still would have done it because there have been many tempting times. Even now, because Mon started to drink a little bit again, but I'm just fucking staying strong, can't I? <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm still got to talk about your bucks with you and see if you're happy with what it is playing. All right, we'll go on then. So that's shit talk. Should we quickly do sponsors? Yes. All right. Athletic Greens is full of 75 nutrients that you couldn't possibly consume in a day. You think, oh, I've got a very diet. I eat some fucking veggies and fruit and shit. Shut the fuck up. 
You don't know shit, fucking cunt. There's no way you eat every day these 75 nutrients that your body fucking desperately needs to make sure it functions better. And I say functions better. <laughs> <laughs> you fuckwit, Matt. You stop taking it. We got through our entire fucking what they sent through in less time because we have it so much and that's yeah. not a joke i had to email them again the other day and say we need more because it's so fucking good it boosts your energy and it revitalizes all the cells in your body and it's so good for your gut which is good for your head which is good for your body which is good for life Wow, that well said. Uh, uh, athleticgreens.com slash fully actual. You get a free travel pack. It's just a subscription. It rocks up at your door. You put a pepper of powder in a glass of water. You drink it. You're done. You're outsourcing your health. You're fucking doing great things for your body with zero fucking effort. You go and fucking spend three fifty on a bag. You may as well spend one fifty a month to go and have some Athletic Greens to counter it, cunt. If you snort oh, wow. a line of coke, then you snort a line of athletic greens. I'm pretty sure it all evens out. I didn't think of it like that. Yeah, you're spending three. You could have by by months of supply. Yeah, you get three months worth of athletic greens compared to one mm. bag of cocaine. One night on the which bag. will take years off your life, mm. and athletic greens will add years to your life. You do the math. So you're sitting there with your hairy shit. That's coming. That's coming. Mm. But athleticgreens.com slash fully actual. Just have a look. The people who have already ordered it, write in the comments. Give us your reviews. Honestly, we want to hear about it because we know it's that good. We're so confident that we're asking for the reviews and we've seen them and people say it tastes good and it's fucking healthy, dickhead. Fucking Joe fucking Rogan even fucking raves about it and he has fucking genius doctors on all the fucking time, you dumb cunt. Yeah. Thank you. So Athletic Greens, get into it. They got the vitamin D droppers too and shit. Just get in and have a fucking look. Athleticgreens.com. There's a link in the fucking description. Click. Wow. Click it. That was them clicking, I think. I heard it too. I think I bumped my mic. Oh, man. Scraped. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. I don't want you watching anymore. I don't want you viewing us anymore. You know who I'm talking about. Those that just sit and consume and listen without any action towards improvement. You sit there. Where, where are you right now? You're on the fucking toilet. Sitting on your couch half slopped off. Your posture's all fucked. You sweaty, gross, contemplating whether to even have a fucking shower tonight. Uh, I couldn't be fucked cooking tonight. I'm going to get to McDonald's and get a fucking meal. And then get up in the fucking morning and go to your shit job that you hate and get screamed at by your boss because you're so fucking down and out. Uh, I'm tired. Life's so hard. Uh, uh, uh. Go to manscaped.com and let them fucking help you for once, cunt. Use that discount code fully actual 20 to get 20% off. You're saving money and you're fixing your life and you're making life better for everyone around you. Think of your family. Think of your friends. Think of your potential future. Just think. Stop sitting and wallowing and dying for nothing. You're a man. You can be so much better. Men build things. Men invent things. And you're sitting there with a beer in your hand and you're fucking tossing off to a fucking porn cunt. Or us. You can be tossing off to us. So and just, women too. <laughs> oh. So just go to manscaped.com and have a look at their fucking products. You can shave in the shower so you're not wasting time. Instead of just standing under the water, looking around, have a shaver in your hand and run it up and down your body. And then it begins. That's step one in improving your life, Matt. Oh, I use it. <laughs>
Also, for fucking women, if you're a woman there and you've got black hair situated under your fat tit, go to Manscaped and shave it all off. Because that's a sign of ungroomed shit weakness. Sorry. <laughs> and I don't want to hear it about your money. Just don't go to the pokies or buy a bag once or stop buying a fucking carton of Forex. Buy a fucking carton of O-Tingers for three months and then use that money you saved to go to fucking Manscaped, get a fucking shaver and start improving your fucking life, cunt! I love the O-Tinger reference. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, look, it's that easy. And if you just if you're a girl, just don't drink coffee for a week. Just start. Just start the self improvement. You've got so much potential buried deep beneath all your fucking fat hair. 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 Shit. You seem to shave it off. Get it off and find it and be better. Be better, yeah. That's Manscaped.com. Fully actual twenty for twenty percent off. And don't sit there and nod and eat your chips. You fucking can't do something. Women too. And of course, our final sponsor is the University of Markle, which funds our fucking entire lives. We post our half an hour videos every week. Sometimes they're even much more than half an hour. And they're so fucked up, we cannot put them on social media. They are so wild. In fact, <laughs> is the name of one of the videos. And Matt's going to start reviewing them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you know about this, Matt? No. You are going to now, we're going to give, we're going to pay for your subscription and we're going to have you, Review. like I have to fucking go through, it was an hour and 50 minutes this film, oh Fast and God. Furious this week. At least ours, you know, you might have 45 minute sessions, but at least that's half of what you give me and it's quality shit. You're going to watch our latest vids and you're going to review them on the podcast each week. And do you know who gets to vote on what videos Matt watches? Michael and I, but also you guys. So please, in the comments, let us know what website video you would like Matt to watch and review first. I don't know if I want to watch any of your videos. But that's what? the fucking rule. I have to watch your... To watch your fucking movie! Yeah, that oh. was part of the deal. Yeah, yeah, this is part of this you deal. You've just re rearranged the deal. Yeah, we've, we've, it's new segments come in like Tinder's. Like now new websites. It's, all, it's, it's, it's always evolving and changing when like we, a fart. Yeah. It's like, a, this is smells fine now. I guess Like come in the ocean. It spreads and swirls. Mm. That's us. That's us. St. So, so look, I'm going to have to watch your videos now. Yep. Well, Aww. like there's going to be voted on. I reckon whoever, like put a comment and then whatever gets the most likes, that's the video you'll be watching first. And obviously there are a lot of people who aren't website members. That's totally fine as well. But just maybe look at the comments that the website members are putting and the titles of them. And then you can just try and try and judge by the titles, which ones you want Matt to watch. And remember, it's a 21-day free trial for everyone. You can go and have a look. There's over 250 videos on there now. And and if you don't like it, you can leave free charge. No worries. So there's no risk to you, okay? We've hired more support staff. It's just it's it's just a beautiful thing. We love our website members, man. Even the premium members, they get a weekly video from us. We'll just talk about what you're doing that week. It's fucking awesome, man. Whoa. Did Wait, you see that? Yeah, I like the sound of it, so I didn't want to stop. Yeah, you send cool. a video to the premium members every week? Yep, every week. Really? Yep. What do you say? Would you say, hey, this is what we're doing this week, man. It's <laughs> like a, literally a diary of our lives. Anyway. Sorry. That's the last sponsor. All right, guys. We're going to move to something a little more serious. As you all know, there's been some interest in the heart shit and, and, and so many people reached out being like, oh, fucking, I've got the same symptoms, bro. I'm on high blood pressure medication, blah, 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 blah. So, and um, I don't know if you remember, but a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned one person in particular reached out to me. He's a very smart man. I call him Dr. Dan. He's not actually a doctor, but he's a very intelligent man. And so we're going to talk to him and I'm going to get him to tell you guys what he told me. So if you're going through some similar shit with anxiety or you got weird heart shit going on, just give this a listen because your problems might be psychological. 
the power of the mind is truly unbelievable, Matt Brown. How did you come across him? He reached out to me after I posted that Facebook video. Oh, right. And he's one of the best men in the world. Have you seen him naked? No, but like I call him whenever I feel like shit and he just makes me feel a lot better. Wow, I want his number. Yeah. He's like, he's a, me- he's a medical scientist. He's a professor. You know, anyway, you'll see. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Sorry. Hey Dan, it's Marty, mate, and you are currently on the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. How are you, mate? Hey Dan. I'm very well yourself, guys. Good, yeah, Dan. We're doing very well. I was just telling everyone how you um, helped rip me out of my spiraling hole of depression and anxiety, and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to get you on and to maybe um, tell tell these people what you told me and and maybe who knows we can help with those thousands of people that reached out when i posted that video so first of all just to let everyone know how fucking insanely smart you are can you just <laughs> can you just um tell us some of your credentials and and just what what your education is and what you do now yeah sure so um i've got a bachelor's degree in in health science where I uh, majored in um, allied health and also medical science. So that basically um, covers a lot of your physiology, anatomy, neurosciences, and also aspects of uh, psychology as well. Um, And then I've also done um, degrees in occupational health and uh, management as well. Um, And I was actually currently studying a degree in medical radiation science, but uh, unfortunately I had to take a leave of absence because my wife became quite unwell. So um, um, still doing the study pathway um, and I um, uh, hope to get back to it soon. Yeah, so you, you've done like two and a half degrees and 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 you were like, what was it? You, sh- you showed me that, um, that you, you were like in the top like 1% of your class in, in your... Um, in- yes, so I was fortunate enough to win the um, uh, the medal for University of South Australia, so I finished in the top one percent of uh, of UniSA and ended up with the uh, uh, the the high award of um, uh, the top one uh, percent. So I was uh, uh, very happy to receive that. <laughs> so you can like fully read and shit, dude. He's he, yeah, this guy is <laughs> he's a very intelligent man. Now, um. So you you saw the video that I posted to Facebook. So what what um and, and then you reached out. So so what about my video? Did made you feel like you 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 should should reach out? Yeah. So um, I, I reached out because I previously suffered from almost identical symptoms and uh, thought I could share my experience with you in the hope of uh, giving you some answers to uh, the health crisis that you were in. Um, so back in 2012. Uh, I'd actually begun experiencing symptoms of what I now know to be um, anxiety and stress-related disorders. Um, so I was uh, suffering almost identical problems, heart arrhythmias, abnormally high blood pressure, shortness of, of breath and dizziness. And um, uh, I couldn't, I had no way to explain why this, it just came out of nowhere. Um, and at the time I was, I was perfectly fit and healthy. Um, I mean, we are all taught from young age to listen to our bodies. Um, and in that context, we know our bodies better than anyone else. And um, when something goes wrong, we can we normally can tell that there's something wrong. So I basically tried to connect all the dots together of the symptoms that uh, I was experiencing and um, uh, made the conclusion that uh, I must have a, a heart disorder or a heart problem and that I was going to die, um, which completely freaked me out. Um, so went down to the GP, got a referral, and uh, went off to the cardiologist. So after extensive testing, um, the cardiologist came back and said, "Now, Dan, there's nothing wrong with you. You're absolutely fine. No problem." But I was still experiencing all of these issues, as, as you were, Marty. Mm-hmm. Um, I still had all the heart palpitations, um, shortness of breath, and I couldn't understand why. Um, so I ended up going to see another two separate cardiologists um, just because I wanted answers. Uh, I was still having these symptoms, but no answers. And these are like uh, these so are really good cardiologists too, right? You went to like the very, very best good. cardiologists in Adelaide, right? Absolutely. I did my research and I found the, the basically the top echelon of cardiologists in Adelaide and I went and saw them. And um, these guys are, are very well known. Um, and um, I thought that uh, if if I did 
did have a problem, these guys would be able to sort it out. So um, I did my research and it took a long time to get in to see them. I was fortunate enough that I did and um, they once again did all the independent testing, um, ECGs, uh, echoes, all the sorts of testing, blood work, the whole um, array of tests and uh, both of them uh, had concluded independently that uh, I was completely fine and healthy. No issues whatsoever. And did they um, did they offer any like did they offer any reason as to why they were just like I don't know did, no. were they just saying oh no this is normal you know go home you're fine. Pretty much yeah yep they basically said that uh, it's it's normal to have arrhythmias um, and that uh, uh, what I was experiencing wasn't anything to do with the the dysfunction uh, uh, or the structure of the heart. There was nothing actually wrong with my heart at all, um, but I, I wasn't given any answers as to why it was happening. Um, so they basically just told me that, uh, yeah, what I was experiencing was, was um, uh, in all essence normal and that um, uh, that I wasn't going to die. Um, my heart was, was perfectly fine and, um, uh, yeah, go on your way, basically, yeah. um, which... Uh, didn't give me any answers at all. Uh, so I ended up going to see further specialists. I saw a respiratory specialist, um, thinking that it might be um, lung or, or oxygen related. Um, and then I went and even saw a uh, neurologist, um, uh, thinking that it might be something to do with the, the wiring between the uh, the brain and the heart. So um, uh, And both of those came back um, completely clear. Um, so the the synopsis for all of them was that uh, I had no issues whatsoever uh, physically. Um, uh, all systems were working normally, um, which uh, made me really freak out even more. So this was over a really long period too, right? You were you were like you were going through the unknown that I went through for like two months. You went you went through that for how long? About sixteen months. Yeah, fuck, dude. That is yeah. like that would have been. Oh my god! Would have just intensified the symptoms heaps too. Yeah, completely, completely. Because um, the fact that you're not getting any answers and um, you're really being dismissed in a lot of ways as well, um, it, it leads you down a, a terrible path of dismay, and um, you really feel isolated. Um, and this is where there's a big connection between that and depression, because when you feel that you're not getting listened to, but you're still got all these symptoms, you're getting told that you're fine, but you've still got all of these symptoms, um, uh, you feel that you're isolated and that you've got nowhere to go. And that's where a lot of people fall into the pit of depression, um, because they, they, they don't know where else to go. They've, they've been to see all the medical professionals out there, and no one's given them any answers as to why you are suffering from all of these symptoms, physiological symptoms. And, and they're real um, but I, I never got any sort of answers um, whatsoever so that was uh, a horrible horrible time and um, uh, I, I really now see why people fall into massive uh, pits of depression because it's um, uh, there, there's no answers or help out there once you've um, closed all those doors. And then, and then, so yeah, so you've 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 been just gone all done all these tests over sixteen months, went to all these best doctors, nothing was working. And then, what made you switch your thinking to? It could so be basically, else? I sort of thought, well, I'm not getting any answers from any of these people whatsoever, and I've done so much research um, uh, on the computer and through different specialists. So I thought, you know, well, I'm going to find out for myself what's wrong with me. So I then engaged in um, a uni for the next uh, seven and a half years. Um, I um, uh, engaged in, in health sciences because that basically covered all aspects of, of health. And I thought, I'm going to find out what's wrong with me here. And it was during that time um, that uh, I, I learned the concept psychologically to physiologically crossover. So basically, um, how suppressed thoughts, feelings, and emotions that are packed away in our subconscious mind can manifest themselves into uh, physiological symptoms. And I thought, wow, is this it? Is is some somehow has the stress and anxiety um, that's been packed away in in my subconscious mind somehow? Um, playing a factor in all of these terrible symptoms that I've been um, enduring for years. And um, it, it was really a light bulb moment for me because I thought there's no other explanation. Um, could this be it? 
So I went back to the GP and got a referral to a psychologist and um, then engaged in, in therapy over the next um, eight months. And uh, I was going weekly um, to see this therapist. And I sort of thought, um, I'm going to put everything that I've learned from uni together and put it, put uh, everything at the forefront of my mind and um, hit it with everything that I've got and, and see how it all goes. And lo and behold, the symptoms started to disappear. So you are you are, and and so you you were on they did put you on high blood pressure medication right so correct so yeah. that, and but then as soon as you started the therapy and 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 you did um and and sort of looking into the fact that it could be psychological that's when all yep. the symptoms started to 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 die down for you and then at the end correct. of that your blood pressure was even too low right because you were on that's the right. on on the high on the blood pressure medication but it was normal now but so it was dropping your blood pressure to below normal levels correct yes yeah. so i'd um, kept in close contact with the gp and um, so i was having regular blood pressure checks and also blood screening as well and um, after about the 6 month um, period of um, seeing the therapist, um, also um, engaging with um, different factors, which I'll go through a bit later, um, but uh, lifestyle factors, exercise and diet and the like. Um, uh, the therapy, though, was, was the key there, and it actually um, dropped uh, my blood pressure to a fact uh, to a point that um, the um, blood pressure was medication was actually dropping my my blood pressure too low, so um, they weaned me off that uh, altogether. Um, so it was actually the therapy in in conjunction with the other factors which um, uh, brought all the stress, all the anxiety down to a, a very basis level, and um, ended up uh, off all the medication. And so, so now you haven't had any weird arrhythmias or anything for years no. now, right? So, what, what, what? Obviously, you'd still have stressful moments in your life, but correct. But, but there's no, there's still no arrhythmias or anything like that because you've handled the underlying stress that was sitting in your subconscious. That's correct. That's absolutely correct. So, what we don't realise and what I didn't realise is that um, all the information that we that we receive, whether it's visual, audio, um, touch, feel, all goes into the subconscious of our mind. And um, uh, the amount of information that we receive daily is is immense. And so the brain goes and tries to file that information away. And what happens is that uh, our subconscious tries to make sense of the information that we are receiving. And what, what, what occurs is that when the subconscious can't make sense of certain information that we're receiving, so that might be um, past traumas or, 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 or stuff alike, um, it, it will sit that in the back of the mind until it can make some sort of sense of it and file it away. So typically later in life, the, the brain tries to bring forward that information and make sense of it and file it away. And it's, it's normally in that time that that information there um, starts to manifest itself in certain forms of stress and anxiety, um, which is where it catches people off guard because it's not something that might have happened yesterday or, or a week ago or 10 years ago. It, it might have happened 20 years ago or in the childhood. Um, but all of a sudden, the brain's trying to make sense of this information that's coming forward. And when it can't, it can manifest itself in the form of stress and anxiety. And so it often takes um, a therapist to really unpack that and, and go through all of the different aspects of, of childhood and adolescence, even, even early sort of uh, adulthood, and unpack all of that information so that the brain can adequately follow it and reduce that stress and anxiety. And when it does, just as me, I found that um, all of a sudden my anxiety and stress was reduced to the to the point where my symptoms of arrhythmias and blood pressures and um, shortness of breath all just declined to the point where they disappeared. Wow. See, that's fucking 
insane and and it, yeah it's so like I, I even just now just being aware of that it's already made such a big difference and and sure you know it's just fucking the power of the mind it's just unbelievable there are people it's incredible there are people running around out there on high blood pressure medication with anxiety and shit and they have no idea they, they just go to doctors the doctors just say here you have this pill and then yep. they continue on living with this shit festering in the back of their mind giving them more and more physiological problems well yeah it's not just Absolutely. that right you've got all the like antidepressants that they just chuck on straight away there's no like Correct. actually dealing Correct. with the core issue that's exactly right and that's the biggest problem today is that um, the um, the pills are the, the normal response um, which it, it masks the problem, but it doesn't fix it. And um, uh, eventually your body adapts to those medications and it, you, you either end up on stronger doses or it doesn't doesn't work anymore. So you don't really fix the problem. All they do is mask, mask the problem um, for the interim. Um, whereas I think there needs to be a greater awareness of getting to the, the underlying basis of these issues that are coming forth. And when they do that, I think there'll be a major breakthrough in how these things are treated properly. Mm. And we've got a pretty massive audience of dudes in like their early 30s. And I feel like that's when it starts, that's when you sort of start to self reflect a lot more on your life. Like through your 20s, I never thought about any shit that had happened to me. We just get fucked up all the time, mm. never worry. Absolutely. And then you sort of get into your early 30s and that's when you sort of start to become self reflective. And that's when all the anxiety and stress and shit hits you so to everyone out there who's fucking feeling like that it could very well be that you just got some shit that you haven't dealt with that is so easily fixed exactly right exactly right and and what i say to people is look um we are as i said before we're always taught to listen to our bodies but um when things start going wrong and um and you go to the doctors and they say well you're fine there's there's other avenues that we need to look at and that is the, the psychological aspect um, and what I say is bowel means if, if you think that there's something wrong if, if you feel abnormal bowel means go to the doctor first because running blood screens and everything else is it's all a form of elimination and when we've gone through that process and they've eliminated that there's another aspect that we really need to consider and that's the psychological aspect and when we get into that pathway it will help to solve a lot of problems and especially for, for the, the way that mental health is going today um, we lead such busy lives um, the cost of everything is going through the roof so our stress levels um, at a basis are, are extremely high so it doesn't take much to tip it over to the point where all of a sudden you are getting physiological symptoms like heart palpitations arrhythmias uh, all of that um, uh, and there's no explanation for it um, and, and that really can um, uh, affect people greatly. Yeah. Where do you live, Dan? So we're down in um, Adelaide, South Australia. I was going to say, you can. do you want to move into the brownery? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> no, Dan, we really appreciate it when you reached out, mate, because you made me f- I was like in such a state for those weeks and you were probably the only one who... Who um who, I still remember that after our first conversation, I was sitting on the couch. It was the first time I was able to just relax and like let go sure. and just fucking chill out. So really appreciate yep. you reaching out, and it's a very important message to anyone out there. It's just yes. you know sort your mental health if you feel like there's something wrong with your body and the doctors are saying there's nothing wrong with you. There's a good chance it could be psychological. Very absolutely v- some very good examples here. Mm. Absolutely, absolutely. It's uh, we really dismiss a lot of the um, psychological um, factors in our world, and especially the the, the males. Um, the the whole talking about um, mental health and the like. Um, there's so much stigma around um, uh, mental health and uh, ending up in a straitjacket in a in a padded room. But that's not really it at all. Um, there's there's so much more um, help and assistance out there. Um, and if we really open the dialogue of mental health out there, I think we'll go a long way in um, helping to reduce the suicide rate, which is just astronomical at the moment. Um, and there is different ways to, to look at it and approach it. And uh, I think if we can help uh, put people down the, the path of um, really engaging and reflecting in mental health, I think it will go a long way into um, helping society in, yeah. in full. No, I totally agree, Dan. 
100 well percent all right mate well um we'll let you go there but thank you very much for jumping on a call with us mate um you've been very helpful and yeah everyone listening you heard the message go and get your mental health sorted um and yeah thank you very much dan i appreciate all your work thanks mate thank you're you, very welcome guys i look forward to talking to you again no worries mate we'll chat soon eh? see you mate catch you dude thanks guys take care no, no bye. worries bye Man, he's got like he just makes you he's like Dude, a psychologist himself. I just yeah, I just want him to be my dad. Yeah, that's why. Let's get him to move in. Mm. Like, but he's got a beautiful family at home. Yeah, already. they can move in too. We'll bring no, them all. I want him. I want him alone. I want him just me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, but he's just such a fucking just went out of his way and like whenever I was freaking out and anxious, I'd call him at like fucking nine thirty p.m. and he just talked to me for like an hour. Man. He's like, wow, that's such a everyone nice needs a dad. To do. Yeah, dude, like it seriously helps so much, and like such a smart dude too. Yeah, like, he's very well spoken. Smart. Like went to uni for seven years just, just so he can figure out what's wrong with what's going on. Man, if I was in his situation, I'd probably just drug myself to death. Yeah. So was he a? Was he a? Did he follow you, or did he just happen to spot it in the algorithm? I like? think I think he's mentioned that his kids watch it, watch oh, our videos, okay. but I, I'm not sure. He he just saw the video, and a couple of days later, he he just Reached I just out. I just so happened to see a DM from him. Man. That's so nice, just out of the kindness of his heart, just to come out. And, Dr. Dan saved yeah. the day. And just like, yeah, fucking, like, how crazy is that? That you can literally give yourself high blood pressure just because you haven't unpacked shit from your fucking childhood or from, from your past. It makes crazy. sense. Like, you know, you can have like panic attacks and shit. Yeah. Like, your brain is a powerful thing. It's the stupidest fucking cunt I've ever seen. Yeah. So if you're a victim out, if Matt Brown has fucking fucked you around out there, all those victims, and you're going through all these physiological issues, please go and seek help. All right. It's not because you've got a disease. It's because Matt Brown has been through you. Well, you probably have got a disease too. Yeah. I'm going to need to uh, sort that out once I leave this house. What's that? My psychological brain. Ruined. <laughs> Look at me. I'm strapped to the ceiling. He looks so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Look at He's this. He's to stand now. That's his decision to stand. Ooh. That just stands there while we sit and do the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god let's move let's move on to the fucking horoscopes you fucking dogs wait can i quickly have a bong break for your mental health and i need a piss bong break it's a bong break have a break into bong it's not long Aye, it's horoscope time. Push that horoscope button, Shloev. Horoscope. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is a compilation of all the most expert horoscopes compiled into one, so they're very accurate. Taurus, as the stars spin during the full moon, you will get an unflattering haircut this week. Oh. <laughs> oh. Julian Street Rat. Because of the sun's rays being angry and that. Wear SPF 50 when you graffiti in during the day. Matt Brown. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Matt Brown. What the fuck were they? Horoscopes this week. There wasn't much information coming in sad. through the stars. Okay, one. the cosmos had, did not have much to offer this week. I was gliding through freshwater streams, letting the cool spring water run across my stretched gills. My arm would shoot out, and I would grab a passing fish and bite its head off. Then I would kick my legs up and jump out of the water, breathe in some fresh air, and splash back down into the water. I noticed a disturbance up ahead in the water and started moving more stealthily. I gently lifted my head up so that only my eyes were out of the water. Ahead of me I saw a bridge, and I saw humans bungee jumping off of that bridge. They would leap off and scream on their way down. Then the upper half of their bodies would enter the river before they were slung back up and out. 
I ducked back under the water and slither swam to the area where the humans were entering the water. Hmm. A little idea popped into my erectile brain. The humans all seemed to be entering the water in the <laughs> exact same spot, and they would often have their mouths open from the screaming from the fall. Oh. Whilst still underwater, I slid my creamy G-string off and let my little brown sway from side to side with the running water. I felt pure calmness. I inched closer to where the bungee jumpers would enter the water, and I waited. Oh. I was completely naked now and my little brown had understood what we were going to do. He had engorged with hot, hot cream blood and stiffened painfully. My trap was set. Then, through the water I see someone jump off of the bridge above us. Here we go. The human exploded into the water and their open mouth engulfed my hard throbbing brown. I grabbed a hold of their head and started fucking furiously. I tried to keep them under the water but the bungee cord pulled us both up and out of the water. I kept fucking hard and fast and the man whose mouth I had my dick in had a pure look of shock. He fought desperately to push me off of him but my grip on his head was far too powerful. Just as the onlookers from up on the bridge saw that we were attached I fucking minced all down this cunt's throat. I power banged my DNA so fat and fast that I heard his esophagus tear. I drained myself into this unsuspecting man and as soon as I was finished, I released his head and dove back into the water below. Confused screams shouted at me from above and the last thing I saw was my mince being belched out of my victim after I unplugged myself as he still hung from his bungee cord. I looked up at my prize. What the fuck are you doing? You should make your mate just suck me off, you cunt! I was just trying to have a swim and he bit onto my fucking cock! Now fuck off before I call the cops, you fucking criminals! Then I swam exactly how a dolphin swims back upstream. What a wonderful day. Oh, oh my god. That is fucked. That's not a horoscope. Well,. It is. It's under the horoscope um, title, bro. So, yeah, it is. Wow. You fucking... Is that rape? No. Well, they kind of raped him. Stop saying that. Yeah, I guess it either... It, yeah, it depends on the you were just, you you just having it. a swim and they... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could just be doing some backstroke. Underwater. Yeah, you say that in court and you'll be fine. Okay. I'm not going to court. We can represent you if you want that. No. Bro. Next. I want a $5,000 retainer by the morning. Next. I'll style you at court. I'll get you a suit. Not with that hair. All right. No. Let's move on to who's the better brown. Oh, yes. You lose. Brown. <laughs> and this week Matt ruined it last week and it's back to $200 this week so it was 1200 last week that is correct okay cool alright so this is a segment where we find another person with a last name Brown and they go head to head with our fucking Brown and they have to answer the most questions correctly about Brown shit <laughs> Whoever answers more correctly gets $200 cash. And if Matt wins, it doubles to $400 cash next week. Once it gets to 2K, Brown can keep it. <laughs> he's got to right. win 10. That's 10 straight. That's very difficult. The price is right, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's call this Brown. Hello. Hello, you're on the Martin Michael podcast and you are about to participate in the most fucked segment ever known to mankind. We've got a horny tongue slithering out Matt Brown. He's flicking his tongue around and he's tapping his nipples. He's tapping his nipples. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he's flicking his balls and grabbing his own ass. That's what Matt's doing right now. And he's so excited for this because he's heard down, you're a Matt. female. Calm Just down. relax, Matt. Stop. Oh my God. Scare her yes. off. So anyway. Sorry. God, that's like a Bachelor Brown entrance. Stop it. Now, now uh, sorry, can you please state your full Brown name? 
you don't know how to say it, do you? That's why. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's uh, you got you <laughs> caught me. It's Khadija Brown. Khadija Brown. Oh, well, what a name, yeah, Khadija. Now, now, do you guys know each other? No. No, I don't think so. Would you ever consider having a child with another Brown, knowing that you could be related some in some past distant uh, ancestor? Nah. That's worrying, yeah. isn't it? That's a, well, that's it's a it's a fair question. Would you would you have a child with someone else not named Brown, Matt? No, definitely not. Yeah, I'd be a bit worried. Matt would. Matt would. One hundred percent. He would. If if the person he was, looks a bit boring. If the if the girl was blonde and fake tit enough, he would a hundred percent have a child <laughs> with a Brown. She doesn't have to have. Fake Lucky I'm not fake then, so he's all good. <laughs> all right. We're going to get into these questions now. Right? There's $200 on the line. All right, here we go. Okay. Question Good luck. number one. Who has more followers on Instagram, musician Zach Brown or UFC fighter Matt the Immortal Brown? That's tough. I'll throw it to you first, Matt. I don't, um, I don't even know who Zach Brown is. Yeah, no shit. Oh. <laughs> God. <laughs> I thought we browns you all browns. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> um, fuck. I want to go Matt Brown, but I'm going to say Zach Brown. All right, so Matt has entered Zach Brown. D, you can either choose to agree with him or you can say Matt the Immortal Brown. Okay. So it was a UFC fighter or a singer? Correct. All right. Yeah, I think I'm going to go the UFC fighter, yeah. All right. Musician Zach Brown has 169,000 oh, followers. Shit. That's going to be Matt Brown. Yeah. UFC fighter Matt Brown has 180,000 oh, followers. Oh, Ooh, that right. close. D takes the lead, Browns. <laughs> oh, wow. This is good. All right. Question number two. If you went on the Browns Plains Woolworths online store and ordered one kilogram of brown sugar, one kilogram of brown rice, one kilogram of brown onions, one packet of thin brown rice cakes, and one bottle of brown Brothers Moscato, what would your total bill be? Bill be. <laughs> That's funny. Um, am I going? Yeah, sorry, D, you're up first. <laughs> sorry okay, about I'm that. Gonna, like thirty. I'll go fifty-five dollars. Maybe seventy dollars. Seventy dollars. Seventy dollars. Seventy dollars. All, right. All right, Matt Brown. Uh, you think? <sighs> Yeah, you've made that. That's your answer yeah, now. That, we're going to have to lock that one in, D. We're going to yeah. have to lock it in. All right, Matt, what do you reckon? Um, oh, I don't think that much. I reckon it's going to be closer to like $30. What about inflation, mate? Shut up, They printed Michael. all that money <laughs> during that yeah, pandemic. Yeah, well, it's expensive now. $30. All right. Oh, shit. The answer is $26.05. Oh, wow. Matt Brown now has it. like Matt a Brown supermarket. Has it. Oh, yeah, he shops a lot. He shops a lot at Woolworths and buys wow. brown things. His old pantry's brown. Well done, Matt Brown. I bought four things from Woolies the other day and it was $100. So that. Yeah, I agree. I, I, definitely would have thought, I definitely would have thought that that would be more as well. But all right, so one all. One all currently. All right, question number three. Yeah. What is a thunder brown? Is it A, a Turkish traditional instrument? B, <laughs> A twin satellite receiver, <laughs> C, ukulele strings, or D, a popular brown cartoon cat from the 1920s? <laughs> <laughs> Thunder funny. Brown. Thunder Brown. Who's first? Uh, Matt, you're up now. Uh, I'm going to go the twin satellite. <laughs> yeah, that, that got me. Yeah, very funny. Okay, you giggled and made me go. All right, D, what do you reckon? I'll go the cartoon. All right. Thunder Brown, Thunder Brown. The answer is ukulele strings. Both. Oh, who would have fucking thought that shit? Holy Not me. Shit. So Not what, is, are they, is it one all right now? Yeah, yes. it's one all. This is fucking fucking. This is crazy. All right, question number four. American football team, the Cleveland, Cleveland Browns, Browns 
named after coach and co-founder Paul Brown, is represented at games by which mascot? Is it A, Brownie the Elf? Brown Brown the Brown Bear? <laughs> Big Brown the Brown Doughboy? Or Ranger Brown? Ooh. Okay. Whose turn is it? Is it D's turn to answer first? Uh, yes. D's, D's turn to answer first. Go Brownie the Elf. Brownie the Elf. All right, Matt Brown. Uh, I'm going to go Ranger the Brown. Oh, he knows it, don't no, you? I don't. It just seems like... I'm just trying to think Cleveland Browns. Well, the answer... What would it be? Is Brownie the Elf. Oh, yeah, are you serious? Oh, yeah, Brownie the Elf. Brownie Holy the shit. Elf. Brownie the Elf. Right, D is up 2-1. Okay. D is up 2-1. This and Matt must answer this question first too. Disadvantage. Ooh, Ooh. All right, question number five. The great white shark has the strongest jaws of any animal, measuring 4,000 PSI of force. The brown bear is also in the top 10. Which number in the top 10 is it? Matt, you must answer first. I'm going to go third place. All right, Matt Brown says third place. All right, D, what say you? Um, I'll go fourth. Ooh, that's strong. Fuck. That's strong, that's Brownie. Smart, actually, the fourth? answer. What? Yeah. Is ninth place, yeah. which <laughs> means D has just oh! won two hundred dollars. Oh! Two hundred dollars, yeah, D. See, D, if oh you hadn't God. got it last week. The prize pool had gone up to one thousand two hundred dollars, just to sort of make well, you feel then, a bit give sad. Give me a shout out. Give me a shout out on your fucking podcast, then, and I'll be happy. Well, there you go. Well, go um, follow okay, her. Uh, well, all right. I, I don't. Which? Where's the DM? You can't say your name, depending where oh, you're here from. Here it is. K a d i j a h dot brown. Kadia yeah. Brown. Kadia. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> Kadia Brown. Kadija. Everyone. Kadija. Khadija Brown. Khadija Brown. Brown. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, that sounds Brown. much nicer. Khadija. All right. Khadija, could you please send us your um, bank details? Um, just DM us on Instagram and we will fix you up as soon as this fucking podcast is finished. Awesome. Love you guys. Keep thank being you funny. So, thank Love you, you so much for participating. Thank you, Khadija. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. It's Khadija. Khadija. Yeah, that's, that's what I said, Kadab bro. Kadabra. Kanesia. Kad Kad yeah, Kardashian. I, I thought, like, um, um, like my last name's, like, fucked, but, like, I, re I realised, like, first names, like, would be even be harder on your on yourself. To, harder on yourself. How did you do? Mate, you lost again. Yeah, hey, what the fuck, Brown? Sorry. You, uh, anyway. anyway, it's time. Oh shit. <sighs> shit. It is time. Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael today. Yay! Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael today. Yay! Come, come, come have fun. Come, 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 oh, who wants to come? Come have fun, come have fun, come have fun today. Bottle of gum! And this is a segment where Matt and Michael go head to head and they battle for the most important piece oh. of item ever. And Matt's bottle of mints. The winner at the end of the season gets to keep keep it and do with it whatever they want. I will be testing their physical, emotional, spiritual and intelligence all in one competition to see who is the better man overall. Currently, Michael leads 6-3. <laughs> Double. And the competition today That's all I have. That's all I have in me. <laughs> what, that's the competition. That's the competition, everybody. <laughs> Are we go to far? No, the competition is. It was always air. Yeah. Who is the better at reading? At reading! Who is better at reading? I've, I have yeah. written two 
different paragraphs, okay? They both contain the exact same amount of words. I've had James proofread them so that my handwriting is readable. So, Matt, no excuses. You come up, you can't read the handwriting. This is answer. It's fair. I've checked. Is James intelligent though? He might be able to read it, and I might He's not. School be able teacher. To. Yeah, that's what I mean. He might be able to read it. I wrote He's it used to very read it shit. carefully. Man, are this, there tricky words in there? Yes, I purposely oh, oh, made them oh, oh, trickyish oh, oh, words. All right. Oh, 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 now I will oh, be time. We're gonna sound so dumb. I will. I have a feeling I'm gonna win. I will be timing Fuck you. you. Listen, I will be timing you to see how long it takes you to read your paragraph. Oh, wow. Every error there is, I'll raise my finger and that adds on two seconds to your time. What are the errors like spelling mistakes? Like if you mispronounce, oh, you mispronounce yeah. or you yeah, or you don't know what a word is, boom, error. Holy shit, this is scary. <sighs> okay. All right. Now, paper, scissors, rock to see who chooses which paragraph. No, it doesn't. But I like to keep things fair. Otherwise, Matt complains and says that I've tried to rig it or yeah, some shit. This whole fucking thing's been rigged. Oh, Let's wow. Go this now. is crazy. Scissors, paper, rock. Yes. All right, Michael, you get to choose first. Just pick one. They're the. All right, don't open it yet. You're, I will start the time and then you can open it. Well, okay? wait, wait, can he go first? Because I won the scissors, paper, rock. And then I see my time. That's fair, right? I'm going to complain. Whatever you say. He's going to complain. What do you mean? I, I won the Scissor Paper Rock. So you get to I choose get which ones and you uh, get to Scissor Paper Rock, so you get to go first. No, then. I didn't care which one. You won the Scissor Paper Rock, you get to choose. Okay, you go first. Okay. Yes. All, All right, so don't time open time. it yet. I start the timer. When I start the timer, that's when you get to open it, okay? Is that the right way? Yes, that's the right way, yep. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. A peculiar stench reverberated through my stretched nostrils. The decaying carcass of a wild boar was the eptimum of prosperity. My famished oral cavity engulfed my dead wife in full. I fucked my sister. <sighs> okay, that's well, I pretty I only did one. Two mistakes. Wrong. You mispronounced epitome and peculiar. Epitome? Oh, man, I'm well fucked. Yes, it is. What I is am it? well fucked. Where's epitome? <clears throat> The very beginning, mate. No, it's in like the middle somewhere. Oh, Here, I'll show oh, you. That shows oh, how fucked I am. All right, so oh two. So Matt got a time of 18 seconds 83 with two mistakes, oh, which adds four seconds. Oh my God. So he's on to 22 seconds is Matt's time. Well, 22.83. 22. 22.83 oh is Matt's my time. Fucking God, I'm nervous. All right. That was really good. That was not bad, Matt. That was actually very I'm good. I'm surprised. I thought I said the first that first mistake funny, like, but I felt like I said the word right. I'm complaining. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have got blue hair. All right, here we go. You ready, Michael? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait. You're, okay, fuck. You don't don't look through. Yeah, don't this. look, yeah, you okay, fucking okay, cheat. Okay, okay. Your time starts in three, two, one, go. The acquisition of fecal matter squandered my opportunity with a hairy prostitute. She affiliated me with low socionomic creatures and refused to brand my arched back with a scolding hot spoon. I fucked my sister. I swear you go, he had an easier one. I'm complaining. <sighs> I did it! I fucking did it! <laughs> Look, Michael's time was 17.5 seconds. There were also two slight mispronunciations. What were they? Uh, um... Also, I didn't know we were timing squandered. like that was a... Yeah, squandered and... Uh, oh, no, and socioeconomic. Socio, I said socio. I would have read it faster. I didn't and realize what, what, it was acquisition a or what? I told you. Yeah, I know, but you sort of said at the end. I didn't realize that was the Affiliated? What was my other word? Uh, squandered. squandered or socioeconomic or, or anyway, scolding. Anyway, Michael or fucking won. Let's scolding. move on. I said yeah, scolding. scolding. That's right. Hurry so. up. All right. So Michael Michael's won. time is 21.5 seconds, which means, everybody... 
that Michael has oh, taken a 7-3 lead. Holy shit, 7-3 lead. You need to explain it better. I didn't realize it was a speed <laughs> thing. You just said you were timing, timing it. And I was like, but I was- fucking, look to fucking hell, no, man. The pronunciation was in my head. I was like, oh, I've got to pronounce all it's the words properly. You listen, you heard it clearly. You learn. Oh, yeah. Fuck, oh, I'm so good. You need to work I'm on your listening skills. You need to explain them better. You, you, you suck at math, skills. you suck at reading, and you suck at listening. Uh, we read the same amount of errors. Just putting it out there. Yeah, but I read quicker. Wait My brain second. got quick. quick yeah, quick, quick, I could have read it faster. I'm faster at taking in information and processing. Yeah, you didn't. I uh, I was more pronunciation. <laughs> I didn't think about the speed of it. Oh man. Yeah. Well, that's what you got to take in. I took all variables in. I can. It's like with Fortnite. Yeah. When I'm you, just saying. When, when I taught you how to use your Ogmorts, you didn't know how to do that while running. I'm just but then I told you just do it. Now it's the same thing. I, I I I'm quicker with more things. Man. I'm 7-3 up. Yeah, that's a quite a lead, Brown. You're going to have to really pull that fucking fish out of your ass and slog it against the wall, cunt. Next. Yeah. Oh, man. Next. That was close. Next, we have Tinder Adventures. Fuck, this just gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> Tinder Adventures! Tinder Adventures! Is, man, I cannot find a wife. Matt can't find a wife, so we've gone to done it for him. <laughs> been well, such a shit day. Have you have you had any bites? All right, well, no, I haven't. No, you know what listen. I've had? I've had some random bitch ring me in the fucking day <laughs> going, what's going on? Oh, I've been fucking arrested. When did you get arrested? I don't have no idea what listen, was going on. Let's give some context, okay? Look, oh. there have been some girls, okay? And despite, and I've been doing well and they've been wanting your phone numbers, wanting your Snapchats, and I give it to them. No, and one stop of the girls, giving my phone number one out. One of the girls I gave Matt's phone number to, she immediately <laughs> called him. He gave his number. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, she immediately called him. And Matt had no idea what she's talking about. And like, I've just had a conversation with her on Tinder. So she's talking to Matt about all the shit that we just spoke about on Tinder. And Matt's like, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. And she thought that he'd forgotten about the conversation that they no, had. She goes, she goes, um, I can't remember she said she got arrested or she had a, a like a, a court order against her. And she goes, what's your court order? I said, I, don't, I said, oh, I don't I know. I said, what's yours? Arrested. And she goes, what? You don't remember? I went, no. Wow. And so she, got, had, she got fucking pretty upset. Was she, was she, did you want, did you want to put in? No. You didn't want to transfer DNA? <laughs> what about okay have you been happy with any have has anything happened no there's been another another girl who who doesn't want a relationship just wants pure sex who had now has matt's number so stay on standby for that no, I don't want fun, her i'm funneling them to matt's snapchat and i'm giving them his number matt if matt wants to get laid it's there and 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 that's that's something to be happy about matt well, uh, you want also, sex? It's there. Yeah, and you, we've done that for no you. No more hand. You just you you come and then you f go away. You <laughs> yell, get out. Would you say, Marty, that there's been some glamours? Uh, it's hard to tell now because, like, that means there's been none. No, because it's so funny early on. Like when it's first, it's the same with like when we first started doing the. Diary entries and shit. No, no, I don't mean so glamour conversations. I mean, is there ones that Brown oh, would like just good drop looking. over? Yes. Yes, Brown, Matt. You still got it. Dude, you're getting some good matches, dude. Yeah, but I'm sure you're destroying any chance of I, life. I have he's get, he's set up a... Uh, you can have sex. I've seen I have, the pictures. I have... What about the one I showed you before? No. Outstanding. You didn't let me look at that. You saw you went... Hey, no, I showed you one picture and you were like... <laughs> I said, no. I, 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 show me more, show me more. I started lactating at the breasts <laughs> and your balls swelled up with possum shit and you were all fucked up, cunt. All right, here we there go. First go. one. Wow, I'm actually salivating looking at your fucking pics and shit. Oh. Want to go to couples counselling with me? Oh. Oh. oh! And there's another one that didn't write back. Actually, why wouldn't you write back? So that's pretty funny. I would grip you so hard if you were mine. What's your job? Whoa, grip Whoa, is you. Whoa, dude, you can't say that. No, if, it's if like, it's yours. Yeah, it's like you really want to hold her tight. Oh, that's Wow, grip fucked. is like, that's a rough sort of, terminology for You can't sex. say that anymore. <laughs> I want to grip you. <laughs> right, here's another one that t shockingly didn't reply. I'm slithering around my apartment. <laughs> it's so fucking wild. How much do you weigh? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you did not. 
Holy Matt, shit. I'm just trying to go off what you would actually say. What if someone, what if that person sees me or is like friends with people or she knows who the, I am? Well, that's why I'm and trying to- And she's like, just, oh, I matched with him on Tinder and he opened up with her. How much do you weigh? Well, that's the, what I'm trying to- These are icebreakers. S- well, I'm trying to say what you would say. I'm just like trying to uh, channel my inner Matt Brown Shut and talk up. to them. You Shut rhymed up. then. Say what you would say. <laughs> All right. This girl started the conversation and there's a little bit of a conversation here, okay? Here we go. Nice face you have there. She starts with. Wow. Well, she started. She started that. Whoa. And starts you do with have a, a lovely face. Such a nice face. And Matt replies, hot chest and head you got. Want to go drink driving with me later? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. If, sure. I dr- if I drink and you drive, I'm already half fucking cut. I suppose if I stop now and vomit, I'll be sweet to go. Lol. Don't worry about it. You keep going and have fun. And then that, oh, was, that was the end of the conversation. Gone. Wait, no, no. The next morning she messages. Still hungover? Yeah. I was fully shaking and convulsing the next day. <laughs> I had I had to scream for help and the neighbors rocked up with a cart and <laughs> so fucking hectic and shit as fucking hell. No, no, dude. You can't do that. Jesus. Needed nurse Christine, hey? Yeah. Oh, I, she wrote she back. She just listened to the conversation. I'm sorry. This, I hate her. Yeah, I don't like her I either. I fucking hate this girl. Jesus, needed nurse Christine, hey? Yeah, I actually did. I even scribbled your name onto twice. Can you get me painkillers? Oh, really? Dreaming of me? Nurse Christine provides painkillers, Powerade, <laughs> apple juice, doesn't burn when you throw it up, and freshly cooked bacon on pizza. Oh, I want to wrap my arms around you and look you in the eyes. Then I want to gently kiss your lips and nibble on your chin hairs. Be with me, Chris. <laughs> Chris. On my chin hairs? How did you know I had them? I actually do. It sucks. I'm su- I'm super blonde and barely have have to shave my legs. I'm like Siamese human, but I have two fucking chin hairs. <laughs> Babe, everyone has chin hairs, Chris. My mum has like a full beard. It's fucking hilarious. She saves, shaves like every day. She's so self-conscious about it. But I'm always like, mom, shut the fuck up. You're fucking hot. Stop being fucking dumb. And then she always <laughs> feels better. I pluck mine. I only have two, but I'm only 34. Watch this space, lol. Oh, I what can, the fuck is going on, man? I can nibble them down, Chris. Don't even worry about that shit. Oh! You could even tie them together like shoelaces. I'm growing my nipple hair at the moment. It's actually wild. One hair is like 20, 20 centimeters long. I can show you if you want. Don't get freaked out, though. It kind of looks like a black piece of string. Holy shit, lol. How has it not been plucked out? I'm, I'm very careful with it. I put my shirts on very slowly and avoid touching it. <laughs> I think I'm going to go for a world record or some shit. I'm kind of embarrassed by it though. Sometimes I don't know if I want to be known as a nipple hair freak. <laughs> I just want people to respect me and shit. Does that make sense, Chris? Oh my fucking God, dude. <laughs> and she didn't reply after that. <laughs> like for how long has it been? Like <laughs> That was days. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that turned that's her all right. off. She's that's all she's right. <laughs> she sounded quite fucked anyway. Oh man, can I see the yeah, picture can we, of her? Do you have a photo? You don't have a photo. Fucking hell. All right, so Matt starts this conversation with someone who's quite attractive. <clears throat> I want to crawl into bed with you and start our lives together. Oh. Wow, you really dive deep. That's the most beautiful thing anyone has ever said to me. Thank you. Did you know that bears sometimes mate with their prey? I found that out and fully flipped out, hey. You mean bears mate with humans? Are you in radio or something? (laughs) I am. Have you heard? (laughs) Working with Ashkip and Lutzi at the moment, it's so fucking stupid. (laughs) What star sign are you? I feel like you're a Sagittarius. Uh, You read my bio. I haven't heard. I'm guessing from from your headphones. That's rad. I love Ashkip and Lutzi. (laughs) <laughs> I'm that new star sign The threatened pig one Yeah they're fucking mad cunts Ash smokes like 20 bongs a day though I don't know how he functions Kip cheats on his sister Do you go out night clubbing? I fucking love night clubbing so much oh, Fuck And me. then she, she didn't reply she oh, did. <laughs> How long ago was that? That was a while ago <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Not on. So this picture, this girl has a picture with a um, like a like a, a like a weird horse in her pictures. Like what do you mean a, a weird horse? I don't know. I don't know what it was exactly. So that's why you say what you do now. <clears throat> What's that thing in your last picture, and why are you attacking it? Is that like a horse or some shit? Uh, the alpaca. Alpaca. Oh, <laughs> what a weird name for a horse. Can you ride horses too? No reply. <laughs> She got she upset thinks, with that. She thinks that. that you don't know what it is. That you're that dumb. <laughs> oh, that is good, dude. Right, They're this, very good. This girl is called Carly, okay? <laughs> What's up, Carl? Want to grab a bucket of fish and shoot some hoops? Hey, I can't today, sorry. I'm on auntie duties. Oh. How many aunties do you have to look after? My aunties are so fucking dumb. It pisses me off so much. <laughs> Let's catch up this weekend. I need some help mowing my lawn. I mean, I'm looking after my nephews. How are your aunties dumb? Ah, uh, dude, I don't, I don't mowing, lol. I also work most weekends. Haha, <laughs> I'm a great catch. Haha. <laughs> Why can't your aunties look after your nephews? Are your cousins with your uncles? My aunties are just like so fucking dumb. It's so fucked. One auntie slipped down the stairs and snapped her ankles. So we had to stop drinking and take her to the stupid fucking hospital. What do you do for work and shit? <laughs> no reply. She I, reply. Knew, yeah. I knew it. I knew she would you reply. Pushed it too hard. That fuck, dude. All right, this is oh, another Carly. one. This is another one with no reply. I saw a car crash today. It was on the news and shit. You can see me in the background waving heaps. <laughs> <laughs> Did she write back? No, no. Man, you, I would, man, you would think that deserves a reply. That is hilarious. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah. This is the one that called you. This is the one that called you. All right. I don't want to read this one. So, no, this will make sense to you now from what she said oh. to you. You can link doc. So uh, your cat looks, she has a picture of a cat in one of her pictures. Your cat looks sick. Let me take you to the vet. Are we role playing already? Yeah. So it, it got to um, the. I just want to read this part again because it's. I really enjoy it. Yeah. So it gets to the role play bit. Are, you, are we? Are we role playing? Yes. You're the vet that helps the cat. You tell me how much it costs, but I can't afford to pay you. So I slip on my latex glove and tell you to breathe. I immediately pull my pants and underwear down. I turn around and bend over. I stretch my cheeks apart as hard as I can. Uh, this has escalated. I ignore your comment and shuffle backwards towards you. <laughs> Do it! I scream as I feel myself start to tear. I grab the speculum and spread you enough to allow two fists. Oh. You, you, you squeal and call me mummy. I release my cheeks as your fists are inside of me and my cheeks clap shut. You desperately try to pull out, but I have you now. I start sucking you in, swallowing your arms bit by bit up my ass. Okay, this is turning morbid, Maddie. I sense your panic and relax my ass. You manage to twist your fists out of me and my insides cascade out from behind me. Oh. <laughs> Feeling embarrassed, <laughs> I quickly turn and try and stuff my insides back up my ass. Hey, are you free this weekend? <laughs> ah, he fucking prolapsed him. Oh I, my God. I am on Sunday. Fucking sick. We're about in Brizzy is your nest. My nest is North Brizzy. I'm from the dirty south. Can we do long distance? Oh, what the fuck? Why do you live there? I read that the water and shit has like fecal matter and fucking rat skulls and shit in it. Is that true? Do you drink that water? I swish it down with a side of urine. Oh, ha, 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 ha. that's fucking nuts. I've got a bucket of piss in my wardrobe if you want. It's fucking hectic, hey? I need to pour it out and just never get time. Uh, I actually believe that. Just saves time at night. My bathroom is like across a hall and shit. <laughs> Have you ever been arrested and shit? No, just a lot of seasoned assists. Oh, no way. <laughs> I've had a bunch of those twos. What the fuck were yours for and shit? Actual story. Matched with a guy in here. He said he worked for Dabble, which is some betting app. He was here in Brisbane for work. Asked me to come around to his hotel. I said no. Offered Billy Joel box tickets at the MCG. I already had tickets. We spoke on the phone. Still asked me coming around. He said no. He started jerking off. I fake fell asleep because I felt weird and uncomfortable. He came and hung up. Next day, he unmatched me. 
So I joined Dabble and discovered they had a chat room in the app and he featured heavily in it as Baz from Finance. So I asked if he liked Billy Joel in the chat. I got banned. I left a review and he got a lawyer involved. Ha 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 That's so fucking Stanthorpe. Holy shit. I'm giggling <laughs> like a stone child. Surely he can't like sue you for that. Especially since he tossed off while you're on the phone to him. Do you have feelings for him or is it well and truly over now? Oh. Lol, it was one night chat. I don't form feelings until like six years in. I'll be like 50 in six years. Do you kiss people even when you don't have feelings? <laughs> I fucking love kissing. It makes my gills flutter. Oh. If you're a guild kisser, it can stir up some feels. My uncle reckons I'm shit, but I don't really try with him. I'm keen to stir up <laughs> some feelings and shit though. Should we go see Billy Joel? He's been and gone. I will settle for you washing my car in a mechanic's outfit, just like he did in Uptown Girl. I actually have a mechanic mechanics outfit from a Halloween party. Such a fucking shit party. I got fucking food poisoning from a pie and vomited in their washing machine. <laughs> so what's breastfeeding like? Have you ever done it? <laughs> Never done it. I've tried. Babies are so sexist though. Do you have any special powers? Blowjobs. What's your address? What's your number? Can we talk on Snapchat? I've been scammed before by giving my... And then I gave her Matt's number. Wow. So she... Can I see this girl? Is she like... Did you like this one, Brown? No. Um, What did she sound like on the phone? Well, she's actually sounded really nice. Why don't you marry her? Because you say, why don't you marry her to every girl? <laughs> I hardly ever. I haven't for ages since last said season. It today. Yeah, maybe. But like, that means I'm just trying to help. Can we just try to help you, my bar? You guys aren't helping. Yeah, we're helping. And Man. it's, it's you know, it's affecting my mental That life. sounds like she's down with your like quirkiness system. Yeah. All right, here we go. Next one. This one really didn't like you much. So yeah, maybe don't pursue this one. I don't have it. Hit me up on Snapchat. This fucking shit is so fucking lame, man. How much do you weigh? Oh. Ew, shit question, Groover. <laughs> it's been like 10 years since I've spoken to a girl. <laughs> What's a good question? Coach me, please. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm sure there will be some thirsty chick out there to help you with oh, all that. Here we go. Please, Mishy, I don't have anyone else. <laughs> You're the only person in my life. I'll do anything. <laughs> please, just give me a good question to ask. I feel like you're some 15-year-old on school holidays with fake accounts. <laughs> I'm a fun, fun, cool-looking lad. Yeah, it doesn't much. match up, hey. I'm a 42-year-old man. I've just gotten out of an of incredibly long, abusive relationship. I just couldn't stop abusing her. It was really horrible. Dude. And now I'm trying to change my skin and become a better man. So <laughs> someone my cousin can be proud of. So I'm sorry if I say things that hurt your feelers. Is there any advice you can offer me, Mishmish? Mish? <laughs> No reply. Oh, oh. oh, oh, oh damn it. <laughs> Holy shit. I just punched a hole in the wall at my work. I fucking hate our printer. It always breaks. Anyway, what brands do you wear? Oh, Tell me yours and I'll tell you mine. Ooh. Hungry Jacks. I'm regional manager and look after like four stores and shit. And I like wearing Rip Curl and Fox. I know it's old school, but they just have such good style. If you want any HJ's discounts, just let me know. I can hook you up. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> You'd look so foxy in your preferred brands. Also, Super Rooster is far more superior. Yeah, Rip Curl has these sick boardies on sale at the moment, so I'm going to go get them as soon as I get paid next. They're black with, like, flames on the side and shit. Oh, oh fuck, you're a Super Rooster fan. I must say, I do love cheeky chicken roll with extra, extra, extra cheese and shit. What age did you lose your virginity? Oh, no. Oh, oh no. She replied to that. No, no. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 that's so oh, fucked up. Oh, that's so fucked. Oh, this one's, this one's, I like this one. Okay, yes. Hi, Matt. Happy weekend. I hope it's been great so far. I literally just watched my mum break her arm falling down some stairs. I fully regret laughing now. Hey, it's a pretty bad break. How's your weekend been? Better than mine so far, I bet. ha, 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 ha. Oh. oh goodness me I'm well I'll show it back I'm on dog watch My dog ended up With an overnight stay At the vet With off the chart Liver enzyme markers He's napping now But I'm in the housebound For a few days In case he takes a turn And we need to go To the emergency 
Oh, fuck. We've both had super bitch tit weekends by the sounds of it. Hope your pup pulls through. Let me know if, they, if I can drop over any treats. I've got a bottle of mint it can have. I'll message back soon, though. My mum's getting so annoyed at me being on the phone. I'll get her to hospital and chat after El Bell. Oh, okay. Hope your mum pulls up okay. Oh, fucking hell, man. Just got out of hospital. She snapped her arm clean in half. <laughs> so clumsy. Once I drop <laughs> mum off back home, I might head out to some bars and shit. I bought a wheelchair a few years back and take it out of my car with me so I got heaps good parks. Works everywhere. I can get you one if you... I can get you a wheelchair too if you can. <laughs> She's nah, not replying to that. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. Fucking hell, dude. Oh, yeah, this one's good. This is the one that you could have sex with if you wanted to. And she has your number now. All right, so oh, listen to stop this. Stop giving him my number. Listen to this conversation, okay? <laughs> you need to check with me before you give him my number. No. <laughs> <laughs> Want to grab a drink and stretch our gills this weekend? I know the best sandwich place. If the kids go with Nan, definitely. They unfortunately have had nasty flu that's going around at the moment. Mmm, you've made me hungry now, lol. Looking at your pics makes me hungry. Like a lion staring at its prey and shit. Where do you live and shit? I live in Kalanga. What about you? I'm in Bridgman Downs in a massive, massive house with a pool and shit. You could come sunbake and I could oh. and I could worship you and smother you with tanning oil and feed you grapes and shit. Stop. Oh, stop it. You'll, you'll make a lady cry with tears of joy doing stuff like that. Or maybe a Klingon that will never want to leave, wink face. Lol. Oh, fuck, dude. I would let you live rent free in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I have two... Sp- <laughs> I have two spare bedrooms and I have a massive pool. I'm not even kidding. Please move in. I know we don't even really know each other yet, but please, I'm begging you, just move in. Rent free, of course. What's your email? I can put you on the lease and make it so you can move out whenever you want. I'll even cook for us every night and you can just chill and do nothing and shit. Oh, stop. Wow. Slow down. As much as I appreciate the offer, like you wouldn't believe, I've got two kids. We've been through a lot of stuff and our mental health is our first priority oh right now. Not, not to mention, I have some trust issues and stuff going on stuff going on to help me deal with deal and cop with the par- cope with the past. I would be more than happy to catch up with you for a drink or a coffee, talk, get to know each other. I've got Valiums and shit for the mental health shit if you need. What's your kid's names? Is it Brenda? I'm always here for you and shit if you need to chat about shit and shit. I'm so keen for a coffee. Have you ever done dark web pingers? No, I've got Vals too. And no, it's not Brenda. I've actually got three kids. But my 15-year-old is in Toowoomba with her nan. I wanted her away from the bad influences. Yeah, I've done all sorts of pingers. Haven't in about two years though. What are you doing tonight? You got a mad rig for someone who's expelled three kids from within. Not too much, hey. Want to hang and get some pizzas? Yeah, I would like that. I don't have a car at the moment. I'll explain that one later. Lol. Where do you live? I've got like three cars and I can come and grab you and shit. Hang on. I'm just about to have a meeting with some concrete. I'll message you in an hour to confirm and shit. And then I texted you her number. Text me, sweet cheeks. I saved your number, handsome. I was going to text, but didn't think Uh. you'd appreciate it. I've got your notification set up as an alarm. So as soon as you text, a really loud alarm goes off. So I don't don't stress about texting me at any time of the day. I'm always here for you. (laughs) That is funny. Dude, you've got to next, you've got to try and push for her to move in again. No, shut up. Her kids are welcome too. Would you be okay with that, Matt? No. Matt, come on. I'll just move out if that thing shows up. You've got to be open to these things. That sounds horrible. Just a couple of kids in the spare room and then she can stay in your she room. She does pingers. Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. And that is the progress of Matt's Tinder adventures, everyone. And uh, look, that's not even progress. progress. What that's do you mean? Not progress. You've got numbers. You've got sex. You've got Snapchats. You've got Where have I got any of that? And I've got no all numbers. happening. Matt, you're welcome. And we're going to continue to do God's work. And hopefully... Fingers crossed, you will find a wife by the end of this. I don't want to do it anymore. I really hope this works. All your cups are filled. You've got lays, snaps, phones, marriage, kids, everything. 
We are now skipping questions this week. Because, Sorry, Jono. Because um, because Matt just said he just turned around to us. He oh, he said to Connor to cut this, and he goes, "I don't fucking feel like doing fucking stupid questions this week. For fuck's sake, let's just fucking move on." Connor, make sure you cut that. He said that to us. So um, just to honor Matt's uh, feelings, we will cut that and we'll move on uh, to Michael's movie reviews. Um, uh, do we have a jingle for that? Oh yeah. Matt loves a movie. Michael thinks he's groovy. Matt loves a movie. Which one will it be today? Hey Matt, do I love movies? And that was actually Matt at the end of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, guys. Michael's got another movie to review. All right. <clears throat> and yeah. um, oh, so, Matt, what movie did you give Michael to review last week? The first ever Fast and Furious. Oh, that's right. All right, so Michael has had to watch the first ever Fast and Furious. Let's hear what Michael thinks. Yeah, like, fuck you again, dude. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and give us a five-star review on Spotify. Oh. Please, please, I'm begging you. I'm sorry. Let's go. Um, the reason why you like the film is because you're in it. Oh, really, Matt? What part am I in? Vin Diesel. I didn't oh. look anything like Vin Diesel. He did, maybe four months ago, bro. Vin Diesel's so like an Italian American. Um, oh, look, dude, it's just a whole lot of fucking shit. For a street racing film, there's like three races. Two of them are like thirty seconds long. The first one, shit. Okay. What the first one at the start where he gets involved? It's so and oh man, when he throws down the pink slip. And I have an audio here representation of Fast and Furious. Yeah. That about sums it up. Like, you, if you think that's good, you've got like trauma. Like, I, have I, you got injuries? trauma, Matt? I have don't you, think it's. You've been dropped. Look in at the way you're dressed. Let me speak. In the terms of movies, it's not the best. But in terms of Fast and Furious, because there's so many, it's the best. What do you give it out of 10? In terms out of all the Fast and Furious? No, just or just give in that general movie out as of 10. a movie? Yeah. Five out of 10. Yeah, oh. See, that's shit. Anything below an eight is shit. And like, but it like, was a childhood film. You said like, or sort of high school. You film. said, man, I couldn't stop thinking about you talking about the special features. Yeah. So if you don't realize, um, there's a part at the start where they do the street racing. They cut off the streets, and a pizza guy comes over the hill, and he's like, he's like, oh, why can't I get through? He's like, find another way. Don't and know like, that. Don't have like, memory of that. He's like, goddamn street races. That's the director of the film. Dr. Dan was talking about That's the director of you've the got film. a certain amount of space in your brain. Yeah, so I let you it have out. Filled it with shit like that. Yeah, but I let it out to you, so then that's why I'm good. You, it's I'm not, not bottling cool. it up. It's not cool when you say that sort of shit. Like that's just you shouldn't right, know man. that. Did you watch the street race at the end? Oh, dude, I watched the whole thing. Amber even watched it with me. But so what when did they, Amber think? When they, um, she was sort of excited for the nostalgic aspect because she's seen it before. But mm. like, she quickly was like, "Yeah, that was fucked." So what was so that? Okay, is, look, yeah, go this on. is the scene. Okay, there's a scene where the gang rock rock up at the cafe and they're mad at Paul Walker because he's there. He's dead. And it was like watching children in their mid twenty year old bodies. Hang on, hang on, hang on. And they're they're not all mad at him. One guy's mad because he's got a crush on the girl, and he's chatting with the girl, flirting. That's why he's mad. But like, they, even they, they walk in, dude. Imagine like walking into a bar and getting upset at someone at the bar. So you walk in and you act like ah, like I don't know, just really like over the top. Like one's like sort of like laughing, like oh, what's he doing there, man? Like oh my god. And then like I love the tough bit. guy shit. Yeah, like. yeah, that's what I mean. Like it's like oh, fuck off. Yeah. And kids watch that shit. Is and if they, anyone's they like fucking that in real repeat life. it. Okay? That's why kids get king hit and bashed to death. You get a fat burger from now on two ninety five with cheese. Oh my dude. dude. You That's a bit, isn't it? Can't do that, dude. I, 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 Matt, I nearly left <laughs> then. Hey, man, he was in my face. If I wasn't I'm in your face. If I wasn't fully reclined. Oh! That's exactly what he says. You know what? Yeah. Thank you, Marty. Right. Fucking that needed that. Um, yeah, and that's what I mean. And you are just being more fucking brain space filled up with shit 
because- Don't the, attack me. The Dude, don't do that. Don't act like yeah, that. Don't, then don't do, then do that. attack the film. Yeah, I am, but don't, don't make it you are being the film. So I'll attack you too. Did you ever think that you just didn't understand it and you're upset because you didn't understand I'm it? I'm glad if I understand that, then fuck me to death. Look at the fucking name. What the <laughs> fuck? Okay, these are the what, okay. These are some of the quotes from the film, Marty. Oh, and tell no. me, okay. There is, I need Nos. Someone said that. Yeah, I he, need he needs Nos, Nos yeah, to win the anyway, Nos is that like pissed this me off. Thing makes That's me when everyone quick. got upset. Remember when everyone was obsessed yeah, with dude, Nos? I remember that Nos period, eh? And these fucking neon lights underneath the car. Like, oh, fuck off. <laughs> and the car sounds. Yeah, the turbo. <laughs> Yeah, people think that that oh, sound dude. is. What about when they have the race and he loses? And he's like, he's like, why are you laughing? And he goes, he goes, how oh, much had you? And he's like, you never had me. You never had your car. Yeah, dude. Well, I think I've got that. Did you have that one? Oh no, this is another fuck. Yeah, fuck off. Don't remember <laughs> shit like that. It's not how you stand by your car. It's how, how you, you race, race your, your car. car. Fuck! Don't say that. You said car twice in the sentences. It's stupid. You, you rhymed car that. with car. Okay, ask any racer. It don't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's, Winning's winning. Dude, that's, what I, that's so funny. How many times have you watched it? You, this is why you don't have a wife. How many times have you watched it? I watched it a bit when I was a kid because it was one of the first DVDs I ever got given. Yeah, wow. It was okay. like Gladiator, Shrek, and Fast and Furious. You the nerd guy um, who knows all the shit about the cars, yeah, he needs to be bashed. Yeah, I, I agree Vince needs to be bashed and can get fucked. He's just a fuckwit. Tough guy, fuck off. Those tough guys are such oh, fuckwits. Man. And then there's the, there's, this is the sickest part of the film. And this is why anyone who says it's a good film is dumb. Because there is no conclusion. There's nothing. What are you the, talking about? Nothing. Okay. Firstly, that whole, the, the car scene where they're trying to fuck the truck man. They're trying to have sex with him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they should have. Okay. He would have reported that to the police. Paul Walker, who's an undercover agent, apparently. The guy's shooting at them. Yeah. You watch the film, he goes, they go, truckers are going to take things in their own hands. And that's what they mean. He's going to have a gun and he's going to shoot at them. Yeah. And that's what happens. Yeah, he would have reported that to the police. He probably did, but they're not there fast enough to catch him because what, they're in- then, Why, why isn't there resolution? What, what, so what, that he just drives off after they do the dumbest shit at the end. You didn't watch the end of the credits, did you? Oh, I, yeah, I couldn't. I turned it off straight away. There's a scene at the end of the thing. credits where they, he drives off oh, into Mexico. Man. You missed Dude, it. They fucking have this stupid race at the end instead of talking like adults and sorting their shit out and going, how are we going to get away with that crime? And like, I'm sorry I was an undercover agent and I went behind your back and I fucked your sister. They have this dumb race and then there's a train coming. Yeah, yeah. And I used to race here back in it. high school. That's what I say every time I pull up the I used to race here back in high school. That's what he says. <sighs> he goes, from here to the train lines a quarter mile, I green, I'm going it. Don't do that, dude. Don't, you're fucking it up. You're making me madder. Do you know they did that crash for real? They had a little thing and they actually flipped the car and they actually drove under it. That is actually pretty cool. All right. That's it's a stunt. I'm, no, I'm done. It is literally, it's a, look, it's better than that fucking weird horse film you made me watch. Horse Soldiers. Yeah, it is a, a one of out of 10. You gave it one out of 10. You've given everything but the Musketeers as like below zero. So yeah, well maybe it's a zero too. You, 300. Know, you, you've, you've hated this film from the sound of it a lot yet. You're giving it a one. It's very confusing. You need to stick with you need to stick with your your ratings better. Well, no. Look, the the so three liked it a bit. If you're giving it a one, you no, liked look, it a okay, bit. Okay, I didn't. Paul you Walk fucking liked Paul it. Paul Walker's hot. I knew it. Paul Walker is sexy. Okay. Yeah, he is. He's terrible. But that's it. That's all I liked about it. So, what do you give it out of ten? A one. One. That gives Eight, it a yeah. five. All right. Shit. What's what's the next movie for next week? Um, it's one of my all time. Planet of the Apes. No, but that's a good one. I should put that on the list. Of course you like that. Um, Have you seen it? No, it's- why Dude, would you make watch him that? watch that. Which one? The one with Charlton Heston or the one I, with- I Mark don't know Warburg? what you- You lost me. Stop. You immediately lost me Dude, when you, you said you which so one. you are so gross, man. <laughs> God, which one? <laughs> Actually, there's three. So you've got Charlton Heston, which oh. is old. You've got Mark Wahlberg, which is the Tim Burton What is he one. watching? And then you've got the one with uh, that guy who got done for like touching You're, We're losing our audience right now. <laughs> Sorry. Oh man, it's the most you've spoken all day. <laughs> God, you're so passionate oh. about dumb shit. Okay, um, it's called The Usual Suspects. Okay, look, I haven't seen it, and I'll give it a, at least it's got a title. 
that one of your <laughs> favorite actors is uh, who's that? Uh, Kevin Spacey and Adam Sandler. I don't really How like. Did you him. know that? No, he's not in it. And also, guys, remember, comment website members comment which website video you would like Matt to watch, and then we'll start making him do oh, that yeah, after yeah, next yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Time for prank call. Time for the fucking fucking prank call, you fucking dumb bitch. Sit back and grab a fucking brewski, have a fucking bong, and get ready because Darren's here, cunt. Yeah. <laughs> prank call time. Darren will be calling a cake shop, and he will be wanting them to have a compartment within that cake so he can smuggle drugs into his prison because his wife's in there for sexually assaulting his neighbor's fish. Wow. What's her name? Vike. V-A-A-A-L-K She sounds Swedish Vike Her mum was just on meth when she named her And that's the sound that she was screaming From her hospital bed As she was going through extreme withdrawals You fucking cunt Alright, here we go It's ringing Shush 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 yeah, g'day, mate. How you going? Um, these, okay. yeah, these do lock um custom cakes, and that lock, if I lock, have lock design, and that, if I have lock my oh, un, un design, can you do uh-huh. that for me? Is that something you you blacks do or not? Oh, when do you need it? What's that? What's that, bro? Uh, when do you want to pick up? When do you need the cake? Or need it done by lock midday tomorrow, right? But uh, to, but tomorrow. Look, Oh, okay, well, when's the earliest you can do? Like, just listen to me first, right? Because it's not that big. It's not much. You don't need to do much to it. Like, I'm just going to come in, right, buy a normal, like, fucking cheesecake or whatever you've got there, right? But what I need one of you's, like, cake files to do is put, like, a hole in the side of it, right, and then hollow out, like, a little bit in the middle of the cake, right, and then make it look like there's no hole in the side of it, right? Because I've got, like, my own special... Ingredient, right? I'll come in once you've done the hole. I'll put my special lock, um, uh, like a little bag of like flour and that in the middle of the cake. But then you've got to close the hole so that I can take the cake to my wife. She's she's in prison at the moment. She's in over at Wake Hole, and it's her birthday in like two days, right? So I want to take the cake to her, right? But I want my gift to be in the middle of the cake. Does that make sense, or like not, 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 not yet, Matt? Uh, the thing is that, like, uh, for tomorrow, it's not going to be possible because right. uh, you know, like, uh, uh, for custom cakes, they need like at least five working days. Right now, I'm saying like, what, whatever cake you've got there. I'm saying yeah. just, just take some of the middle bit out of it, right? So you don't need to make a brand new cake. You just mm-hmm. you just take a bit out of the middle, and then I'm gonna put more present to my wife in the middle of yep. the cake, and then you just put cake over the top of it. Do you know what I mean? So you can't. Mm-hmm. So it's like you can't see that there's a present in the middle of the cake. Does that make sense? Like, so it's like a normal cheesecake. Yeah, but the thing is, when we make it a whole. Uh it's going to be hard to fix up the cake at the top part. They're going to be looked down. No, 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 not top part. I'm talking like either on the bottom, right, or a little door on the bottom of it, or like a little door on the side, right? And then yeah. I can I can stick me uh, like bags of um, flour. Let's call it flour. I'll stick that through the side so it's in the middle of the cake, and then you close the door on the side. So if I if I show it to security and that, like at way, Carl, they'll be like, oh, that's that's just fucking cake. He's he's just got fucking cake. He's bringing in. But then I'll give it to my wife, and then she like she gets to take that in, um, and then when she cuts into it, like she'll see that um, I've put like my gift in the middle of it. It's her birthday, yeah, mate. Yeah, the same thing. Like uh, at the at the you know where is a bowl? Like a uh, uh, is a hard to gonna make the hole at the bottom. No, you no. Know, like I'm, a, I'm not saying like a, a hole. You, I'm not saying you leave the hole. I'm saying you put a hole in the cake, right? I'll put my drugs in the hole and then you put the cake back yeah, over the hole. Yeah, the, I'm just saying like at the bottom is it going to be hard to make that like the cake is already ready there. What about the you side then, mate? The Come on, the- you do custom cakes. What about the side? It's her birthday, mate. I can't let her down, bro. 
<laughs> yeah, I understand, but tomorrow it's not going to be possible. So yeah, well, uh, that's why I... right, right. Well, you tell me what day is good for you then, mate. Or do you do you have a missus? Do you, you got a miss R or am or what? No, like I have proper decorator. She's not here at the moment, but like that's say. Yeah, like, but uh, do, you, do you got a miss R home? You got a wife or what? No, no, like I'm single at the moment. You're single at the moment. Yeah, well, mate, I'm telling you, right, once you get a miss, eh, you'll understand, bro. If you, like, don't get, like, fucking cakes and fucking flowers and fucking this and that and fucking put the fucking toilet seat down, fucking jibber-jabber, fucking do this, fucking do that, you fucking got to fucking put the fucking rubbish mm. down the fucking, you don't fucking, you fucking, you fucking, if you don't fucking do that sort of shit, mate, my missus go off yeah, her fucking nut, she'll fucking lose yeah, her fucking mind, cunt. so I've got to get this cake done by the weekend, do you know what I mean? And all I'm asking yeah. you, brother, I'm asking you to have my back, brother. Just come and have my back, right? And put a fucking hole in the side of the cake so I can stick me drugs in it and then you cover the hole up so the security cards can't see that there's drugs in the middle of the cake. Yeah, I understand. But, like, the thing is the way I'm saying, like, uh, uh, tomorrow it's not going to be possible. Right. Uh, because I'm not the decorator. Decorator, like, uh, she's not going to be in tomorrow either. Right, right, right. So, so, like, so uh, what's the earliest thing you reckon, bro? <laughs> It's at least tomorrow is not going to be possible. Like yeah, um, at the, the way I say at least five working days. Okay, all right, so you're saying by next Monday, you can do that cake for me and you can put the hole in it and I can come in and stick me little baggies in it and then you can hide it and conceal it so that no one knows. Uh, we can't do that one, sir. Uh, we can't do this one. Exactly. What do you mean, I'm mate? You just, you just bloody said you could, mate. What are you lying to me for, brother? Come on, you just said you had me back. Us boys got to stick together, mate. Yeah, try to ring up Stafford store. Maybe they can do Mate, that. Mate, I just I called Stafford store. Question. They told me to call you, bro. She told she yeah. told me there. She said that you you definitely help me out. Mate, I'm on no, my no, fucking no, hands and knees, bro. Right, huh? I'm on my I fucking hands and knees, right, brother. Please, I'm begging you, brother. I'm on my fucking hands and yeah, knees. I'm, sorry, I'm looking up right now at the sky, right? I'm outside and I'm looking up at the fucking sky and I can see, like, the star formation and shit form and there's fucking clouds moving across and I fucking see the kangaroo, can't the, the kangaroo of the fucking boxing gloves cut from fucking flying across in our great country cunt our fucking beautiful great country the southern cross is just fucking splaying across like that the moon's shining reflecting right off it right and I can see a fucking meth pipe over in the fucking corner and all I want is to put that meth pipe in that cake for my miso brother that's it that's all I want bruv yes uh, the, uh, the way I say is I'm not the decorator decorator she's away like uh, so, I can't do anything at the moment. Well, if I come in and you, if I come in, I buy the cake, right? And you just watch me stick the meth pipe into the cake, and then you just put a bit of cake over the top of the hole. I, I can't do that one. That's why I just uh, like at the front. I then need like uh, by the decorator. You can buy the cake. You can make a hole. You can do whatever you like. Oh, right, look, mate. Look, look. I, I, I actually respect like what's going on. Like I've come in. I've come in a bit like hot in that. And you've like sort of stood your ground, right? And you've you've said to me, you're firm. Like you're firm and you and you sort of said to me, nah, I can't do it. And like I've got to be honest honest with you, bruv. Like I, I I respect that. Like I understand what's going on now. And like yeah. on you you coming across as like a um like like a true man and I want you to know like I've got your back, brother. Like I, I won't I won't push this no further, right? Because you've just earned my respect with how you've handled my aggressive demeanor. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, I understand your thing. Yeah, but yeah. what I'm saying, like at the moment, decorator is on a holiday. Yeah, that fucking decorators, you. mate. Fucking yeah. decorators, mate. They're, they're dog shit. But as if I'm just saying to you right now, look, you're my no, brother. You're, my, you're I, my brother. I'm not a decorator. Mate, you're my brother. You're my brother. I, you're, you're my blood for life now. Because of the way okay, you, uh, listen, the way you I'm stood up to go. me. Okay, listen, uh, I'm gonna go. Customer waiting for me. Okay. The way I'm you really stood up to me. The way you've stood up to me is really. I love you. Okay. I love you, Locke. I love my own sons. I have got six of them. Cade, Cade, okay. Cade, Cade, uh, Cade, and Cade. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, look, man. The way I say, I'm working the, like ten customer waiting in front of me. I totally understand. Okay? I totally understand. You go do okay. your work. I love you. I, just, I, I want you to know I love you. Meth pipes in cakes. Yeah. It's, um, it's okay, more thing. Let me go, man. No like, worries. I'm, I say, I'm gonna I'm let you. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go as soon as you say I love. You love me. Just tell me you love me. 
Look, man, look, I'm busy, you know. Just tell me you love me, please. Just tell me you love me before you go, please. I'm on my knees. I can't do this one. I'm on my knees, please. Just tell me you love me, please. I need it. I need to hear it. Okay, man. Okay, listen. I love you. I love you so much. Please say it to me. Please. Please say it to me. Please say you love me. I can't do this one, Please, please. Just tell me you love me, please. I'm on my hands and knees, mate. Okay, man. Southern let's, Cross. Let's, let's, what about the fucking Southern Cross fucking standing now? I love you. I love you with all my heart. So close. Oh man, he he can't say that. Maybe it's just like he just didn't love him. He's <laughs> he's firm with it. Yeah, he only says I love you to people he actually loves. Oh <sighs> man, that was fucked. Like. I hate you as a customer. Yeah, like that's rough, dude. I would have hung up ages. Just, yeah, wow. just way back. blatantly saying he's gonna stick a meth pipe in the cake. <laughs> oh man, I love it when you get so passionate and you stand back and you go, "I respect that." Like, yeah, he yeah. didn't understand that. He thought I was still having a go at him. Yeah, he's like cake yeah, decorated on here. Oh, by the way, cheesecake shop, no baker at one, no decorator at the other one. Get your shit together. Yeah, wow. Cannon Hill Cheesecake Shop always had everyone there. I and love love that place. Yeah, yeah. There's good memories for Matt Brown in that place. Yeah. Cheesy. That is so true, everybody. But look, <laughs> the the in the winner at the end of the day is, is cheese cake. All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and give us a five-star review on Spotify if you can, please. I'm begging you, bro. I'm literally fucking sucking your cock for it, bro. I'll fucking suck your cock, and I'll suck your tits clean off for it, bro. Please, please tell everyone about us. Tell everyone about us. It's the only way we grow. This is already probably age-restricted, so no one knows about this shit, and it's the funniest shit in the world. And if you want it to keep going, you have to spread the word. It's all up to you. It's up to you guys, the fans to keep this shit going because all the platforms hate us and they want us off of it because of fucking that cunt and we're the fucking best cunt. Give us Me. a five star review. Give us a fucking five star review. Say Matt's it. fucked. Matt's fucked. We're the, we're the best. We're the Say best. We're the best. Say we're the best. Say it. If you don't believe it, then they won't believe it. Man. We're the best. We're the best. <laughs>